WHOT Culture with a special report on one of New York City's greatest mysteries of last week. Hundreds of tombstones popped up like mushrooms all over the city. I investigated, and this is what I found out. An international secret society, called the Neo-Dadaists for Privacy, quietly took over the attention of New York City through an audacious campaign of destabilization last week. To lure their biggest enemy, the National Spy Agency, the Neo-Dadaists are using the latest communication technologies to gather in secret places. Using various tricks, I managed to make my way into what the Neo-Dadaists consider to be the ultimate celebration of the death of privacy. Surprisingly, I found out that a lot of important people, diplomats, politicians, actors, and directors, were part of the society. So we're here to celebrate the death of privacy. Yes, it's a very timely celebration. I think we have to defend privacy. The evening resembled the original parties thrown by Dadaists in Zurich in 1916 with the most eclectic group of artists, magicians, singers, and other extravagant performers. As you know, the government has placed cameras in all of our brains. Are we humans of the future? Yeah. Enough, enough. For example, opera star Anthony Roth Costanzo deliver a heartbreaking rendition of La Vie en Rose. And New York's favorite cabaret performer, Justin Vivian Bond, sung Me and My Shadow as an ode to the age of surveillance. Strolling down the avenue. I hope you enjoyed this special report and um stay tuned. <laughs> <laughs>